Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kirtubo here bringing you another Minecraft bathtub build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing the World War II Kajiro class destroyer. Uh, this ship right here is based off the IGN Kajiro, which was the lead ship of the class. Uh, in total for the Kajir Kajiro class uh, destroyers there was uh, 19 built and uh, they're all built for the Imperial Japanese Navy during the 1930s. Uh, the Kajiro class was an enlarged and improved version of the preceding Asiro class. And the main armament of the Kajiro class consisted of six Type 3 127mm uh, guns uh, and uh, three twin gun turrets. Um, it also uh, had two uh, Type 93 long lance torpedo uh, in these uh, quad mounted um, mounts, which is uh, quite interesting. So it could fire eight torpedoes off in one barrage, which is pretty good. You know, the Japanese, they love their torpedoes. Um, and it also had, was equipped with depth charges and, of course, anti air guns and. Um, all kinds of stuff um, but uh, overall uh, this destroyer was a pretty uh, good one um, I believe they I believe they lost all nearly all of them uh, 18 of these were sunk and only one of these was scrapped which uh, definitely is not a good uh, uh, <laughs> ratio uh, to lose pretty much all your ships and only have one actually make it to the point where it just needs to be scrapped so that's pretty uh pretty bad but uh anyways uh, it's an interesting you know uh, destroyer and all that stuff and I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and throw a destroyer in the mix we haven't done a destroyer a destroyer in the in a while for the bathtub build series we haven't done a bathtub build uh, in quite a while and I just wanted to go ahead and uh, return to it and just kind of bring you guys an airship um the uh, Kajiro uh, class uh, is our first ever Japanese destroyer also which is also awesome uh, just adds a lot more and uh, more variety to our uh, ships that we currently have uh, in the work so uh, I was really happy to go ahead and build this one now I do plan on having bathtub builds returning uh, it's just uh, you know gotta you know get more time to sit down and start building these I just um, I'm pre-recording a lot of episodes right now because I have some big, big projects I need to work on for the end of the month so I'm trying to do some smaller little builds and stuff like that just to have some videos up at least so this is one of those um, you can see some bigger ships and stuff like that in the distance. I'll be trying to get to those soon. Once I have some time freed up from working on those bigger projects, I'll be, uh, ready to go ahead and work on those bigger ships. But anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ship itself. Uh, we have the three guns. As you can see, you got two in the back, one in the front. Um, you also have your, uh, twin, uh, quadruple torpedo launchers. Uh, quite interesting. Both located around midship. Uh, two smokestacks. Plenty of, uh, little positions there for AA and all that stuff. Um, the mast, of course, right there, uh, the conning tower, and uh, pretty much your standard destroyer stuff. I mean, nothing really crazy in terms of, like, that's insane, but uh, it's still a cool ship, nonetheless, and definitely a cool addition to our uh, fleet of mini-builds. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for the overview of the ship. Um, it should be a pretty simple tutorial for us to go and breeze through. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, Layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 1. Now for layer 1, we're going to start off by placing down a red stain clay block, followed by a brick upside down stair coming off of it. Now, uh, for this uh, block right here, uh, you want to make sure that this is at the water level, so the top of the brick stair and the red uh, stain clay block is pretty much um, at the level of the water. Just to give you guys more of a visual aid, I'll kind of uh, take some blue wool here and kind of show you guys what the water level will be at around it. Um, it has a very small draft to it since it is a destroyer. Um, they got very small drafts, so you can see there that's about where you guys want it in uh, depth in the water. Now, once you have that done, we're then going to go and take our red stain clay blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back from this. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, one, two, three, four, and five back. Uh, on your sixth block, so you can see this is a row six of red stain clay. We're going to place down a brick stair on either side of that sixth block, and then going to the fifth red stain clay block, we're going to place down a uh, brick top slab next to it. Once you guys have that done, we're going to place down a row 3 red stain clay, and we're going to repeat this a few times going back. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 rows of red stain clay. 11 rows of 3 red stain clay going back, or 3 rows of 11, however you want to look at it. When we get back here to this section, we're going to go ahead and go to the very center. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 red stain clay blocks back. Go into the sides here, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair on either side. We then want to place down a brick corner stair, come off that brick upside down stair, followed by a brick top slab on either side like so, going back. With that finished, going from our red stain clay block, we're going to go ahead and go back one and two brick top slabs, followed by a red stain clay block, and then a brick upside down stair. Going to these uh, uh, brick top slabs on either side, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, uh, end rod. Pla we're actually going to go ahead and actually place down a skeleton skull. 
So we're going to go ahead and place down a placeholder block for right now in the skeleton skull, just like this on both sides. And we're going to delete that placeholder block, and we're going to place down an end rod in its place. Now, I do realize that if you guys are building this underwater, I don't believe you can use zombie heads or uh, end rods. A good substitute for the end rods would be fence gates, and a good substitute for the zombie heads would be gold blocks. Um, I just feel the gold blocks would be a little bit big for this ship, so I decided not to use them. But of course, um, whatever works best for you guys and getting the design right to uh, actually work underwater, uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, use that. Um, of course, you could just even you know exclude the propellers as well. That's also a possibility. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for uh, layer one, and with that, we'll move on to layer two. All right, guys, so moving on to layer two. Now, for layer two, we're going to start off by going to the very front up here to this uh, brick up stair. We're going to place down a polished downstairs block on top of it, followed by one, two, three, and four back just like this. Go into your, uh, you can see this is a row five of polished andesite. Go into your uh, fifth block here on your side. We're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, followed by a stone brick top sub coming off of it like that on the sides. Now, once you have that done, we're going to go and take our polished andesite. We're just going to go and place down rows of three pretty much going all the way back. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, and 18 rows of polished andesite back. As you guys can see, they uh, end pretty much directly in line with these uh, zombie heads <clears throat> or uh, gold blocks, whatever you used for the uh, propellers there. Going ahead and going back off the center, we're going to place down one and two polished andesite blocks, followed by two cobblestone walls on either side of those polished andesite blocks. And once you guys have that done, very simple layer. We have uh, layer two complete, and we'll move on to our next layer, layer three. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 3. Now layer 3 is where the uh, build starts to get a little bit more tricky. We got a lot of stuff going on here. This is probably going to be our most complex layer of the build. And even though it's not that complex, it is the most complex of the tutorial. So if you guys are able to get through this, you should be perfectly fine for the rest of the tutorial. We're going to start off by going to this polished andesite block here in the very front, the bow of the ship. We're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of it, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 back. So you can see you have a total of 6 polished andesite blocks back, um, or basically just a row like that. We're going to go ahead and go to the very front block up here. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on either side like that to represent the uh, anchor. And to represent the very tip of the bow of the ship, we're going to place down a um, regular skeleton skull on the very tip. Just like that to give it a little bit more of a shape to the front there, like so. Once you have that done, go into the sides here. We're going to go ahead and go to this third polished andesite block back. We're going to place down a polished andesite block on either side of it. And then going back from this block right here, we're going to go back one, two, and three. And then one, two, and three over here. If you did that right, these all these rows should all line up. So you have a row of six and then two rows of four on the side. All should come to a line right here on the end. With that finished, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick stair in the center, followed by a stone brick half sub on either side. And on the side of that stone brick half sub on either side, we're going to place down a sign like so. In the very center here, we're just going to place down a polished inside block for right now, followed by a stone brick up down stair on either side. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down their polished andesite block in the center, and again in their stone brick upside down stair on either side. We're going to place down yet another polished andesite block, followed by a stone brick stair like this on either side, so not an upside down one, just a regular stair like that. And on the front of the on the front of the stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign like so, and not on the sides, but on the front of it like that. We then want to go ahead and repeat that two more times, so we have one and two polished andesite blocks, and then one and two stone brick stairs. Same thing over here. And again, take your signs and go ahead and put them on the front of the stairs. Same thing over here. Just like that. Now once you get to this point here, we're just going to go ahead and take a polished andesite block, place down one in the center. And then we want to go ahead and go back one and two more. So you have a row of three that sticks out right here. On these two polished andesite blocks right here, we're going to place down two quartz top stabs coming off like that to represent lifeboats. Uh, going ahead and moving on to our next uh, kind of row here. We're going to place down a row of three of fence gates. And we're going to all open them up so that they're facing toward the, re the rear of the ship. And this is going to be our uh, first kind of torpedo uh, launcher right here. Uh, in the very center, we're going to place down a polished andesite block. And on the side, the cobblestone wall. Uh, come off the side of this block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Just like that, so you pretty much have your first torpedo launcher. After that skeleton skull, we're going to place down a polished andesite block. Followed by one, two, and three. Going back. Going uh, to your second block right here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on either side. Again, you're going to go and take a sign and place it down on the side of the stair. Or on the front of the stair like that. Coming off this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a stone brick corner stair on either side. And then come off this polished andesite block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate. And then once you guys have that done, we just want to grab ourselves some end rods and some uh, redstone repeaters. And we're just going to go ahead and go to this polished andesite block and these cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors on both sides going back. And then we just want to go ahead and take a, a redstone repeater. 
and uh, put it in the center there um, and put uh, have it flick back a few notches. Now, on the very last polished anti block on the back here, we're just going to place down an end rod uh, for the time being. And we'll return to that a little bit later, and especially in the next layer. Anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for layer 3. We have a lot of the bases set up for our next uh, few layers here. So with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 4. Now for layer 4, what we're going to do is we're going to go and start off by going to this uh, skeleton skull in the very front. We're going to place down an end rod like down the tip. Uh, after that end rod, we're going to place down a uh, redstone or a piece of redstone like this. Followed by a redstone uh, repeater, which we're going to flip um, out to the side. Just like that, all the way as far as we can go. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate. Open it up so it's facing toward the rear like that. And then we're going to follow, follow that up by placing a polished anisite block. Followed by a stone brick, or sorry, a skeleton skull. On your side, which will be uh, one of your turrets. Um, that quickly reminds me, we want to go ahead and go back to these polished anisite, this polished anisite block right here with the uh, fence gate that comes off it. This is one of our turrets as well. So we're going to go ahead and put down skeleton skulls on the side here. And this one should also have it as well. Don't know why those didn't have it, but we're going to go ahead and make that small adjustment right now. Now, after this polished anisite block here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by a polished anisite block. And to the sides of these stairs and the polished anisite full block, we're going to place down two of these um, quartz half slabs on your side. With that finished, on top of this stone brick stair, we're going to place down a uh, end rod. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves a um, cobblestone wall, place down a cobblestone wall in the center. And we're just going to go ahead and take a iron trap door and place it down on either side of it. Going back from this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by an, end, an iron trap door on either side. After you have that done, we're going to place down a polished anisite block on the back of the stair, followed by again another end rod on either side. When we get to this point right here, we have our second uh, torpedo launcher. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood fence gates, place down a row of three across, and have them all opened up so that they're facing toward the rear. We then want to go ahead and take our polished anisite blocks, place down one in the center, cobblestone wall on either side of it, and then a polished or skeleton skull come off the back of the polished anisite block like that. Once you have that done on these two polished anisite blocks, we're going to place down one and two polished anisite blocks on top of it, followed by a stone brick upstairs stair going toward the rear. We then want to take an end rod, and on top of these uh, two quartz blocks, we're going to place down an end rod, and that's pretty much good to go there. Skipping all the way back here to this row of four polished andesite, we're going to go ahead and go to the first block, place down an end rod on top of it, and actually for this, for just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves a little bit later on, we're going to place down a full block, place down a skeleton skull on top, break the full block, and then place down an end rod, uh, make it a little bit easier for us in the future. Then on top of this polished andesite block, we're just going to place down an end rod, and then after that, we're just going to go take our um, polished anisite, place down a full block with a uh, dark oak wood fence gate coming off of like that, have it opened up so it looks like it connects up to it, and then we're just going to go and place down a skeleton skull on your side, and that's going to be your uh, third and final turret. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 4, and with that we'll move on to layer 5. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 5. Now for layer 5, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by uh, going ahead and going to uh, the very tip of the ship here. Uh, the bow. We're going to go ahead and go to this end rod. We're going to place down a uh, iron bar on top of it, and uh, we'll later be turning this into our uh, rigging that will be on the ship. But for right now, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. On top of this polished anisite block, we're going to place down an end rod as well. On top of this uh, stone brick stair, we're going to place down a, uh, a polished anisite block, followed by a cobblestone wall on either side of it. Once you have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of polished anisite. You're going to go ahead and again grab yourself a stone button. And you're going to go and place down uh, stone buttons around these two polished anisite blocks on the sides there. Uh, come off this polished anisite block in the center, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. And on top of this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like that. And we're just going to go and take our signs and place them down on either side of this stone brick upside down stair. With that done, on top of this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a, a uh, cobblestone wall, followed by a polished anisite block. And on either side of the polished anisite block, we're just going to place down a um, skeleton skull like that. Going ahead and coming back here to this section, on top of this polished anisite block here, we're going to place down one like this, followed by a stone brick half slab on either side. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame, which I don't believe we've had to use yet, so make sure you grab yourself one. And on the backs of these slabs, or the sides of these slabs, facing toward the rear, we're going to place down two, uh, two uh, item frames, and then around the uh, remaining parts of the slabs, or the, uh, yeah, the remaining parts of the slabs, we're just going to place down stone brick, or sorry, uh, wooden signs like that. With that done, we're then going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull, place down one on that polished anisite block. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some more um, iron trap doors. Iron trap door on top of this stone brick upside down stair. And for this, uh, uh, around this iron trap door, we're going to go and surround it with uh, some uh, wooden signs like so. Going ahead and going back here to this end rod, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, 
one more end rod on top of it, fall by one, and then a second one that comes out to the sides like that. Going back here to this point, I kind of forgot in the previous layer, we're just going to place down an end rod on top of it, and we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, iron bars again, and we're just going to place down one more iron bar on top of it, like so. And uh, you can see here, you're starting to really get this uh, ship starting to be built up. That's uh, pretty much it for uh, layer uh, 5, I believe. Um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, layer 5. With that, we'll move on to our last final layers, which will pretty much be layer 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. We'll put all the uh, top on, and then we'll go back, go to our rigging, and we'll pretty much be done with the ship. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, last final layers. All right, guys, so for our last final layers here, we're going to go in very simply start off by going to the conning tower. You can see we're going to have part of it built. We're going to go and uh, continue off of it, and we pretty much have this mast to build, and that one in the back, and we'll pretty much be done with the, you know, main part of the ship here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go and go to this polished dance block that's in the very center. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of it, followed by a sign on either side of that stone brick stair. Now, on top of that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a redstone repeater, and we're going to flip it out to the sides just like that um, on top. On the back of this stone brick stair, we're going to place down an end rod. We then want to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of this stone brick upside down stair like so. Going ahead and continuing up, we're going to go ahead and place down another stone brick upside down stair on top of this one. Then coming off this stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that. On top of this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a, a, a uh, iron trap door. On top of this stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down an end rod. On top of the end rod, a polished anisite block with an end rod coming off of... Uh, either side like that to the sides of the ship then on top of this polished anisite block we're going to place down a placeholder block for the time being and we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a skeleton skull place down one on top break that block and then place down an end rod like so and on either side of this end rod right here we're just going to go and place down uh end rod coming off of either side of it like so so you should get something like that for the main mast of the ship Going ahead and go into the rear mast right here very simply we're just going to go ahead and go from this we're going to place down one and two more end rods going up we want to go ahead and go to uh, this uh, end rod on the very top here. Either side of it, we're just going to place down a uh, end rod like that. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's pretty much the uh, basics for the ship itself. Uh, with that, we'll go ahead and move on to the rigging, which will be very uh, simple to go ahead and put on. Uh, there's not a lot of it, so it'll be really easy. So with that, let's move on to the rigging, and we'll pretty much be done with the tutorial. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to the rigging of the ship. As you can see, it's very simple. You can see I kind of outlined where we're going to be placing down iron bars, so you can get a kind of a nice visual here if you need to of how exactly these are going to be positioned. Now, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and go to these first um, uh, these uh, these first two blocks here. You can see that they're at an angle. If you go and look at it, it's at an angle from this iron bar on the very front. We're just going to place down two iron trap doors or two iron bars just like that. Uh, from this iron bar here, we're going to go ahead and go up and at an angle. And we're going to place down another iron bar um, just like that. So it's going to be one single one. We're going to go ahead and continue to go up and add a diagonal and place down another iron bar. Then we're going to go ahead and go up one more uh, time and add an angle. Place down uh, this time two iron bars right next to each other going back. So you can see that kind of shape we have going on there. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and go diagonal again and just place down one iron bar like that. Now coming off this uh, end rod right here, we're going to place down two iron bars like that. We're going to go ahead and go down and at an angle, place down one, two, three, and four iron bars like that, all in a row. We're going to go ahead and go down at an angle again, place down a row of three, like so. Go down at an angle again, place down two iron bars. After that, after this end rod right here, we're going to go ahead and uh, take our iron bars again, place down a row of two. Go down at an angle, place down a row of two of iron bars, and it will connect up to uh, this iron bar right there. So if you go ahead and look at it from the side, you get something that kind of looks like that for the rigging. A uh, very simple um, design for it, and it works pretty nicely. Anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for the uh, Kajiro class uh, destroyer. Uh, definitely a cool ship, and definitely a really nice addition to our BAFTA builds. We haven't had a Japanese destroyer or a Japanese ship really other than the uh, Yamato, so it's really nice to go ahead and throw another one out there. Um, into our fleet. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do use this design, I do ask that you guys give you proper credit for it. Uh, you know, this can be a thing with a, from a side on the build to link to my channel or this video if there's any social media sites. Just be sure to give proper credit for the build. That's all I ask from doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to uh, feel motivated to continue posting. So uh, please uh, do give me credit for it. And as long as you guys do, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys uh, did enjoy, be sure to go ahead and leave a like. And uh, also, don't forget to comment and uh, subscribe also if you haven't already. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, this has been Gary 2 before. I'll see you guys.
next time.